you want to go put your best game forward, okay? And then the results will come with time. Okay, you have a 0% chance, literally 0% chance, if you fail to approach and you let that, you know, fear and these negative things win, okay? If you go and make the approach, you have greater than a 0% chance, and if you follow my other strategies, you will have a very, very solid probability, okay? Again, there's always going to be things that are out of your control. If the girl really has a boyfriend or really is married or she's just really in a terrible mood or she's just a huge bitch for whatever reason, it doesn't matter. Okay, you talk to that girl, she rejects you. I talk to that girl, she rejects me. Okay, pretty much anyone that talks to her, unless you're Brad Pitt or something, is gonna get a rejection, okay? And I've played little um, experiment games with advanced friends of mine, where when I get a rejection or when he gets a rejection, or, or any, any of my friends I've done this with, the other one of us will go in and try on the same girl. Nine times out of 10, the same reaction, okay? And that goes to show there exists it doesn't matter, like, who, you could be salesman of the year, okay, and you knock on this person's door or call them and they just had a big fight with their spouse or they're just in a terrible mood or they really hate uh, when people knock on their door or you interrupted their favorite television report. Who gives a fuck, right? Okay, and that doesn't mean you need to, because I've, I've been, when I was training, I ended up becoming the top salesman out of all the, the company was Vivint, okay? I was the, the top rookie out of, like, 2,300 people nationwide. It was a smart home sales company. I just did it for a summer, not for the money or anything. One of my close friends in the game said everything that he built was sales translated directly over to game and everything that he learned in game translated over back over to sales. And he's really good at game and, and he's one of the top salesmen at that company. And I was able to be the top rookie with no sales training. I was able to be the, the top rookie out of 2,300 guys. Okay, I broke records on, on 4th of July for the most sales and I even saw a girl that day for two hours. Okay. Um, and why? It's about building rapport, answering objections, all the other stuff that I'll get into in other videos. But my point there was when I was training some of the more, you know, guys that were sucking, not getting many sales, someone would be rude and slam the door in their face and they'd be like, oh, fuck, you know, fuck you anyways, or even, or maybe they were too pussy to even do that and the, the door would shut and they'd be like, oh, fuck that guy. And they're all angry and then they're coming to the next door like, oh, I'm gonna fucking get revenge. I'm gonna, no, that's the wrong approach, okay? You need to, not take a rejection personally, okay? That doesn't mean be a clown and, you know, oh, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm, I'm always at a 10, so I can just fucking be a clown and, you know, be beta and, and, you know, have an extremely weak game and this and that and do all this stupid stuff because rejections don't matter to me. No, that's not the message. The message is you see a girl, you go in within three seconds, okay? And then you run your best version of your game, okay? And then, you just let the chips fall where they may. Okay, when I was playing professional poker, and I'll end with this, when I was playing professional poker, poker, for those of you that are not aware, is not a sure thing, okay? People look at it as gambling, but you're, it's the only game you're not against the house, okay? Meaning, if you go into a casino and you are playing any game besides poker, you're guaranteed to lose in the long run. Why is that? The house has an advantage. So you play enough rounds and you're gonna lose, okay? So people that are playing the slots and all this stuff, they're getting intermittent, that are unexpected, intermittent, basically how Facebook works, why people are addicted to the Facebook newsfeed and stuff like that. Intermittent dopamine rewards, and they don't know when they're coming, and then they come now and then, and the, the person gets this big rush, okay, lights and sounds, and all that's designed to interface with your dopamine reward system, okay? But if you were to just say, hey, like, uh, every time you give me uh, three chips, I'm gonna give you two back, okay? Give me three chips, oh, here's two. People will be like, no, fuck that, right? I'm guaranteed to lose money. Well, that's what's happening in the long run. But with poker, you're playing against other players, okay? And the house takes a bit of a rake. With Texas Hold'em, the house is taking a rake, but that's just a little percentage off of your profits. You're still against other people. So, so it's the only game where skill prevails, okay? I'm a, I'm a big fan of optimizing and learning skill games as fast as possible. The most noteworthy thing that I spent the most time on is this, okay? With, with dating and seduction, but I've also, um, for those of you that are more familiar with my channel, I've done uh, nuclear missile defense for the United States government for Lockheed Martin okay, as a defense contractor where I optimize nuclear, biological, and chemical missile defense okay, against attacks on the U.S. or allies. Um, and I also, before closing, encourage you guys right now to like, share, 
and subscribe if you have not already, okay? You can do that below. But I will leave you with, with this message about poker, okay? You're making high probability moves, okay? But you don't care what happens after you make the move, okay? So let, what does that mean? Let's say I make a move where I'm going to win 80% of the time, okay? And let's say some player with poor skill gets a lot of chips in against me, makes a, a big bet against me where I have 80% odds, okay? And then let's say he catches his 20%. Most players, okay, illogically and foolishly will say, oh damn, I should have done the other move, right? Which would only be effective 20% of the time, right? No, I would, ma I would play, make that play a million times, okay? You want to get your money in when you have the good odds. And that's, and that's exactly true in game as well. You want to go put your best game forward, okay? And then the results will come with time, okay? That's why I always tell guys, drive volume up higher, okay? If you're putting this many phone numbers into the funnel, okay, and then your game isn't that good, your funnel's gonna close the top. So let's say you get like five phone numbers, none respond, you get no dates, okay, everything's closed. Let's say you get 10 phone numbers, you get a couple dates, you close one, okay, now one made it through. You know, as you put more leads in the funnel, in my Corona Picker product, I show you how to run five tenders at once. But that's basically my online game system on steroids. I'm showing you how to run five tenders at once, okay, um, without any extra cost. You're running free tender accounts, as well as a Bumble and Hinge account. So now you're running seven online game profiles, and you're leveraging that volume. But the thing is, is that you want to make high probability moves and you don't care like I'm not gonna beat myself up over this guy catching his 20% odds I want him to make that play okay it doesn't matter that the card came up against me it's you run that 10 times I'm gonna win 8 out of the 10 you see how that works reduce the fraction I'm gonna win 4 out of 5 times so you want to make high probability moves I can get a string of rejections right let's say I talk to three or four girls in a row and I'm bringing my A game this girl has a boyfriend this girl's in a terrible mood this girl, I came in weak for some reason because I, you know, I was arguing with my friend or whatever, something unrelated to being discouraged by the last two girls. And <clears throat> that's it. Like, you, like, it doesn't matter that these three girls rejected me. Do you get that part? So when I when I go to the next girl, I'm still putting that best probability move forward. Okay, so you you back off. Like, no poker pro is winning every single session in his life. He's not winning every sing. He's not up every single week. Okay. He's even gonna have down months, okay? But in the long run, you have the top players that are making millions of dollars a year, okay? And have millions of dollars of career earnings, just as I have been able to sleep with over a thousand chicks by consistently making these high probability moves, which I'll get into in other videos on my channel. But I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching. Lots of really big things coming with the channel. As a reminder, daily value videos coming at 2 p.m. daily, okay, every single day. Best way to get notified of those is to subscribe below if you have not already, okay, and those will be released at a set time every day as well, okay, at 2 p.m. Eastern. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next video. I'm John Anthony, and make sure you check out the links in the description as well. That will have the Corona Pickup link. Today's the last day of that sale, and it also has my two other information products and it has websites explaining those as well so i'll see you guys in the next video and take care thank you